Hi, I wanted to give you an update as I draw close to starting my sabbatical on the 1st of May. I thought it would be helpful to explain it again and make sure that you're aware of what's happening. I'll be on sabbatical for three months and we'll be coming back to New Wine United B, uh, the summer conference, which is going to be a brilliant way to reconnect with many of you. In fact, if you're not yet signed up, why not consider coming with St Mary's to that event on uh, the 1st to the 5th of August at the Kent Event Centre. I'll be working the inside of the following week and then I'll be on annual leave. So my last Sunday is going to be the 30th of April and then our next Sunday worship together will be on the 3rd of September. As I explained earlier in the year, I'll have been ordained 14 years this year and I've been offered this opportunity for rest and for prayer, for renewal and listening to God. I'd welcome your prayer for this time, for me and my family, and obviously for our church, while we won't be around and while we'll be out of contact. I'll be taking retreats and listening to God through study and retreat and recreation, having conversations with other leaders. I want to grow the depth of my relationship with God and to be refreshed for serving him. I'm passionate about abiding in God so that our mission flows out of a deep encounter with him. So I'm hoping the Lord's going to be leading me deeper into an understanding of the love of Father God and that this is going to benefit us all at St Mary's. Practically during this time, the wardens, Peter, Ralph and Vanessa Cooper, will be your go-to if you have any questions or concerns that you would usually bring to me as a vicar. And we're thankful um, that we have so many capable leaders in our church, including our ministry leaders and our PCC. So a huge thank you to you, uh, to everyone who's serving in the life of the church. We're also grateful that we'll have some visiting clergy coming to help us with some of our services on Sundays in the next few months. As you know, we're looking forward to welcoming a new children's and family leader in early September. She's called Jenny. We're so thankful to God for her appointment, for God's provision at a time when generally recruitment is proving tricky. I hear this from other churches and from charities. Please be praying for her as she finishes off her degree, as she serves on Christian camps over the summer and prepares to join us. Let's also be showing our appreciation, particularly to our children's group volunteers who are doing a fabulous job of serving. I'm thankful to Luke with Ruth for leading the Rockets Midweek Small Group and it will soon be up and running again after the holiday break, bi-weekly um, and likely in a new location. So we've got a few practical things getting sorted for that. Isn't it wonderful that because we have so many people serving in children's work, we can run our groups on Sundays, except of course for the all age weeks on the first and the fifth Sunday and our holiday weeks. There will be two weeks, the 25th of June and the 23rd of July over the coming months, where we're short on leaders to run the Sunday Rockets group. So although this isn't a perfect situation, it is just for a short season. And I think it's brilliant what's been made possible so well done. It's no mean feat while we're in a season of vacancy waiting for a children's and family leader and with the necessary rejigging of rotors over the coming few months. When we get back from sabbatical, Will, of course, will be back to serving in children's work again, as he has been more than once a month. And we'll have a new staff member on board. And I want to just praise God for the 18 more volunteers on our current rotor. We deeply appreciate you and your hard work. Well done, good and faithful servants. We are grateful for you. And with all age services, there's something for people um, of different ages at different moments during the service. And they're great times for learning from one another across generations and listening to God together. As with any of our service, we, we come to those to worship and to listen to God and receive teaching from the word of God in the Bible, sharing words from the spirit. And we're often responding creatively in those times through drawing or craft, worship and dance, fun activities, with parents doing a fabulous job of helping to frame things with their children. I get so encouraged by the midweek conversations that flow from what we've been discovering of God on a Sunday together. And I love to see the faith and gifts of all. We've enjoyed meeting in the round for all age. So if you'd like to do that again, can I remind you that we need people to come and offer to move chairs, please? We haven't had any offers so far, so do think again about whether you could help with that. Our youth group has grown significantly um, as our older children have moved up into youth. Please do be praying for them too. We really value our children and young people here at St Mary's. 
And although I said it at our recent APCM, I wanted to take the opportunity to say it again now as I prepare to be away in the summer. Thank you for making such a difference to the children and the youth. It is great to be in a church that involves them and invests in them and sees their faith and their gifts being used so creatively. I'm excited for the possibilities that are ahead of us. So let's be building one another up with an attitude of gratitude. And perhaps God may be calling you to serve the children or the young people in some way. Look after each other in the coming months. I will miss you. Um, but it's going to be good to have a focused time of abiding in God. Um, and you can be sure that I'll be praying for you all.